Hello everyone, my name is Altaf. Today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to install the Synergy Mod 11 for your Xperia M. I guess this process, uh, the tutorial which I'm going to show you works on the 2013 Xperia lineup, but I can guarantee you that. So only thing I can guarantee you is on Sony Xperia M because I have particularly tested it and it's working damn fine. So let's get started on how to install it. So first of all, the things you need is basically a computer. The second thing you need a flash tool. The third is a USB proprietary a USB cable in minimum 60% of charging is mandatory. So on the in the system, first of all download the uh, RAM which you like to install it. In my case I'm using RT Drive, the link in the description and you can download it from there. Then download the flash tool that's also linked in the description. So download it as you, uh, as uh, according to your operating system. And just bear with me, and I'm gonna help you out in this process. So guys, here we are in the system. I chose the Linux uh, uh, operating system to tell you that uh, how can you install using Linux because just Windows is just simple. You need to open that uh, flash tool and just do the process. Everything same in Linux as well, but there is a certain uh, thing, one extra step to do it in uh, Linux. So I'm showing you because mm, that's the best possible way to tell you in every system for Linux. Just you gotta go to um this the last thing this is something this is automatic uh, abd zip file this is a thing just go it extract this file and uh, you need to install these two files the thing this and this uh, no i not uninstall only this file the install one you need to install this file as i've done that already so i'm not gonna show you how to do it this is just simple uh just click on uh, right click and you open it then it asks for a prompt to just run in a command just to show this source file or run you just click on run um, if you don't get that option how to do it so first of all you just go to your this files then or then go to your file then go to uh, edit then at the end you gotta go, go to preference then in this our uh, dialog opens then just click on behavior then in this the second one execute execute the file uh, you better click uh, keep on ask each time okay then that's it uh, that's the thing you're gonna get then you will get that dialog box so install as it says and uh, download the flash tool with this also uh, i will link in description the drivers i will link in the description so don't worry about that even so now let's get a flash tool uh, for opening the flash tool it's like a little bit different you need to open my command line okay so go to your terminal then in this uh, i'm recording this video with one hand so a little bit a uh, shaky videos you're getting and uh, maybe a uh, slow typing so don't mind for that guys cd space slash uh, the directory home slash your username or the thing slash I have put this in desktop so desktop uh, then flash the name of that flash tool flash tool see guys let me tell you cd is slash home that's the main then your uh, name or the directory then desktop as I've stored in desktop then the name of the folder flash to enter 
so you're getting to flash tool now open the flash tool dot slash as you all know for opening flash tools flash tool dot slash flash enter now this will just open it okay here it says you need to grant it so you uh, super user so so and uh, if this process doesn't work there's another workaround for this thing yeah so you type in sudo space so then your super user password that's it we have granted the super user okay so once again i'm doing that cd thing okay cd space slash home slash then desktop as the upper what you have seen that thing same one you need to repeat over here dot slash plus two i can't see this by the way sorry the same thing which you entered up that uh, see a flash tool one dot slash flash tool and cd those all things you need to enter once again now if you do this you will get this dialog uh, this flash tool one this is the thing this is a flash tool so this is the option we are gonna use it but before it you need to unlock your bootloader so for that you need to follow the steps so guys you see this uh, uh, window and uh, sorry for the video clarity uh, because <laughs> the camera side because I am using my Sony <coughs> Xperia M for the tutorial to show you guys so I don't have any other option to use a low end camera so click on this BLU button set up the thunder, thunder burner now you get a window that says uh, uh, connect this mo uh, device into flash mode that this uh, photo is actually the Sony a Ericsson X10 and uh, okay here you see flash mode so just do it okay um, so for, in order to do that take your device and uh, hold on the volume down button and uh, just uh, in uh, connect it to the proprietary USB cable and uh, until you see the uh, green color light over here don't uh, release this button uh, you see this green color light and you can release the button by the way you get some pop-up window over back of this uh, there uh, there was something loaded and a window comes to the which ask you to select your device so you need to select them you get the uh, as basically we are unlocking the bootloader that's important right so I can show you guys how to do it because uh, it's difficult for me to do it with single hand so I'll pause this video like I said you hold on the volume button and connect it to the USB cable until you see the green light over here don't release the uh, volume down button okay I'm pausing this video and we shall continue when you do this process yeah so you got this like I said you you'll get a selecting device you select your model that's mine is Sony Xperia M so double click on this suit loader another thing is to flash the kernel uh, that's a uh, recovery just hit on this thunder button Flash put more like I said you how to put it then go to select kernel to flash okay uh, click on this then select your uh, thing that's at the bottom you see over here put your device to dot img uh, dot img you get this if you don't get this you can manually locate where you have downloaded it uh, dot image anything you can search the click on ok that will do the process and ask you to reboot the device uh, this pro uh, reboot the device into system you here uh, click this pro uh, button and uh, this uh, flashes you to your recovery and first of all uh, before this step 
you need to download the uh, RG Droid you know, and put it in your SD card. So then, uh, basically, I didn't install the CWM recovery. I have flashed a TWRP recovery, but basically, uh, I have provided with the CWM recovery. That's not very difficult. Let me tell you. If this is a CW, uh, CWRP recovery, first item you get a reboot now, then the second one install zip from your selected device. Click on the second option. Uh, for navigation, you need to use this volume keys up down and for selecting power button. So uh, click on the second option, then you get something uh, you get uh, from where you have to select the SD card or internal uh, memory. Select it, click uh, and select your recover required that's not so difficult by the way uh, for getting into the recovery in a normal use just hold the power button okay then you see a kind of light please wait see okay uh, if you see this light uh, hold any of the uh, volume key either, either up or down uh, until you see this light okay now click on install this is twrp so this is slightly so you uh, basically you get same like this uh, from where to install the rom and everything um this is the other version okay micro sd card yes. so basically you get mm, uh, the same things then go to your located uh, uh, archie right swipe and this uh, this is just based on touch model that's all about the hardware keys the volume rockers and all so the everything is just same you will uh, get to understand when you do it so sorry for the inconvenience guys uh, swipe to confirm swipe this. swipe this yeah it's not swiping right I can see through this. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So it's loading by the by the way. Everything loading. You loading. You gotta arch it right. Uh, yes. Click on it, and you follow through this tutorial. Uh, it g gives you the guidance how to do. It. Click on next. I'm not sure if you can see this thing. Uh, I guess it's. The camera is not catching it. You get a next symbol over here. Click on this next symbol. Then select your language. Uh, click on next. Then click on next. Then uh, here you get an agreement. You need to agree the license agreement. Like this tick mark. And click on next. Then click on next. Then uh, if you are uh, new to this you just click on first option as i have always uh, already using sanjo mod i will click the present uh, i don't want to delete my entire data and everything i don't want to clean wipe up or stuff like that i want everything uh, like i have in my past so i'm just clicking on the present state now, but by the, if you are a new user you need to click on custom uh, then click on next you get this when you click on custom you get this options when you click on uh, the uh, like i said present state you get this option you can customize everything uh, first of all you get a kernel which kernel do you want want to flash you want to flash the rg kernel or the stock cast kernel that's straight coming from the sanjo mod uh, i guess rg kernel is a bit better so you need to check the dpi that's uh, 240 will be best for you uh, maybe if you know uh, don't get uh, don't take this Google launcher because this Google launcher has bugs because uh, only in this ROM by the way you uh, download it from Play Store that's even fine when you uh, click on Google launcher and just install this will not boot so no uh, you can get in a stock ROM that's always great and uh, keyboard as your wish boot animation as your wish and here you get some more uh, things which you would like to keep or not uh, I prefer to just uh, uh, tick everything don't remove anything if unless you know that what you're doing click next I don't want this gravity box even click next uh, zero I have 
checking the right things so I have marked it now click next now if you want to swap memory you can do it in this so I don't want to do anything click next um, new new user uh, click on no uh, and existing user yes try upgrade yeah, click on yes the next dialog and uh, click on flash the thing at the bottom it's flashing it might take some time and it goes on everything by the way I wanna confess some things guys sorry for this video quality because I am doing with a single handed so a little shaky videos you are getting and um, maybe the clarity of the video has gone so very 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 extremely sorry for that guys so I'll pause this video and we'll be back when it's flat as it's done now click on finish this will take uh, click on yes that means you want to reboot your device yes now basically it might take quite some time the Sanajam mod uh, logo that comes and uh, spin for uh, quite uh, two to three minutes m uh, maximum is ten minutes yeah Sony logo and now uh, but uh, I like I said you have already uh, uh, installed this ROM so I said I'm not gonna do anything I just wanna uh, do it as it's uh, this is the theme by the way you get this uh, Android L theme so nothing happened to my old previous data what themes I have installed the same what settings I have put is same what contacts uh, email messages and everything are just same nothing is deleted so if you are a new user you will be experiencing the uh, stock lo ro logo that will be rotating in this way that might take quite some time this is a, this might take quite some time i will paste the video and uh, let's uh, tell you when you get exciting to watch yeah i guess now it's getting in uh, it's just optimizing and my applications and everything basically the stuff when you try to upgrade your android version that's just normal i guess so this might take quite some time I guess so let me paste the video so starting apps now it's just booting this uh, is the Android L <laughs> uh, that's theme you gotta themes like things let me paste this video so there you go guys this is Sanaja mod installed so if you like this video please hit that like button and comment uh, like how is the, my video so uh, sorry for the uh, video quality guys I'm so really really extremely sorry for that guys so thanks for watching and uh, if you want to check my other videos you can always feel free to check it so as always guys thanks for watching this is all signing off